Hi guys, how you doing? So today's upload, we will be talking about all things Silver Stars on FIFA 22. If you are like myself, last year, Silver Stars is a breath of fresh air. It gets boring playing the same teams over and over again with the same players. Mendy left back, Neymar left wing, and Bappe up front, Minotaur in defence. It gets boring, so Silver Stars for me gives me a great variety of squads to go against and mixes things up a little bit. So, I put together a team for you. It's not even that expensive, and I think it's the best silver team to start with, with 100 chemistry as well. So let me show you this. Hi guys, how you doing? So today's upload, we will be talking about all things FIFA stars. Hi guys, how you doing? So the time has come, FIFA 22 has been released finally and this video I will be going through the best silver team to start with, ready for when Silver Stars does get released in the next week or two hopefully. Uh, if you are like myself, Silver Stars is a good addition to the game. Um, it gets boring playing the same teams over and over again in gold players, so Mendy left back, Neymar left wing and Bappe up front, Minotaur in defence. It gets boring. Silver Stars gives me a good range of players to go against in different teams, which I enjoy. So, let me show you the team. So guys, I can see here we are running the Bundesliga Nigerian hybrid team. And let's just say it has everything you need to wipe the floor of your opponents comfortably. Uh, it has everything, trust me. So we have 87 pace and 81 pace in centre-back. Um, defending all greens for uh, Akpogba. And then we have the crazy 89 sprint speed, 84 acceleration on Leitch. Uh, and then we have interceptions, defense awareness, stand tackle and slide tackle all greens. We have Etubo and we have OB in midfield. Now these guys, if you go onto Footbin and go onto Silver Cards and then top 10 for overall stats, these two guys are in that top 10. So they're solid overall midfielders, uh, players to have in your team to control that midfield and boss it for you. So this is not the formation that you play in game. I do swap to a 4-2-2-2 formation as obviously Dennis is not a centre midfielder, he's a striker. But for that chem reasons, to get the 100 chemistry, we do put him centre midfield and go with this pre-game. Okay? But I will show you the 4-2-2-2 players and formation in a second. So up front and on the wings we have a Juki, uh, Adi Gabremro and we have Akintola. Uh, 92 pace, 90 pace and 94 pace. You can't go wrong at all uh, with these players on Silver Stars. And then left back we have Rom, 86 pace. But again, we don't need him to link with Atubo because of that solid green link with Leitch um, for the Bundesliga and Hoffenheim. But again, agility 77, balance 76, good ball control, good stamina and 87 pace. Um, sorry, 87 acceleration, 85 uh, sprint speed. Uh, again, another solid card to have in your team for Silver Stars from day one. So let me show you what formation I play in game and how I set things up with the tactics. Let's go. So guys, this is the 4-2-2 formation and lineup I play in game. I have Atubo and OB in midfield. Like I said, if you see here, I put a graph for you on Footbin. Overall stats, top 10, they're both in it. Uh, so you can't go wrong. They will control and set the tempo in midfield. We have Akintolo and Ajuki on the wings, purely for those pace reasons, give the fullbacks of your opponents something to think about and get behind. Uh, we have Dennis and Adi Gabenro up front to give again extra pace, 88 and 90, um, give them something to think about, okay? Instructions wise, you want to stay back while attacking. There's no ifs or buts about it. Stay back while attacking, otherwise you will get caught on the counter attack and leave acres of space. And then your opponent will go down the wing, cross it for an easy sweat goal. So don't forget, so many people do forget to put this on. We want cut pass and lanes and cover centre on both midfielders. The reason why I have cut pass and lanes is it just helps me defending. Uh, let me know if you disagree or what you use personally. So for example, cut pass and lanes, if my opponent's got the ball, I want my defender to be positioned between the ball and one of his attackers so we cannot pass it so that's how i control my defender and then once i'm controlling that defender i want my other defense midfielder to do the same thing so i've set the cut pass lane so that's two attackers of my opponents blocked off this makes him go sideways or backwards nine times out of ten 
We also want my wingers to be getting to the box. Uh, if I go down the left wing or to go down the right wing, I want the opposite winger to get into the box for uh, another option to sweat it to. Uh, if they're not in the box, then there's going to be one or two players in the box. So it's not, not enough compared to like four or five defenders. So make sure you do put this on. It will help you when you get down to the byline. So far, I have Dennis on mixed and balanced. And then I have getting behind on Abigail to make the most of his pace and give me an option for the through balls. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I will be uploading more and more FIFA videos for more silver teams and training tips in the future. Uh, I do stream on Twitch as well, www.twitch.tv slash cosa underscore underscore, a link in the description. Uh, so if you do want to come watch me play FIFA, rank up on rivals, do some objectives and do some trading, come say hi, I would appreciate it. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube and notifications on so you don't miss anything. And uh, thanks for watching.